All right, guys, so today, today we are uh, doing a video. I've kind of wanted to do this video for a while. I wasn't sure how to do it, but I had someone actually ask to do a comparison between the ThinkBook Gen 2 i5 versus the new M1 MacBook for video editing. And, and I did want to, turn this up a little bit, and I did want to uh, do a can you video edit on the new ThinkBook in 4K, like 4K footage. But I thought this was a great way to kind of do both of those videos together because we'll be able to see if it does it. We know that the M1 can do it, but the question is how well does it kind of compare based on the price, right? The M1 machine may be a little more expensive, but it really depends on what you're, what you're looking for. So we're going to uh, import some footage. Now this is the exact same footage. It's not, the total project will be one minute. So we're gonna use that as our base. So it's five clips, uh, three clips from the Canon R6 in 4K, uh, 4K24, and then uh, two clips, I believe it is, from my iPhone 12. Two clips from the iPhone 12. And we're gonna put those into a 4K 24P timeline, and we're gonna be using DaVinci Resolve because it's the only piece of software that I have access to that I can install on both systems. And uh, we'll do some timing just to see how long they take. Coming up. Okay, so we've actually moved the footage onto the desktop of each computer, figuring this would give it a fair, a fair fight. Um, we've also just spent the last few minutes making sure everything was updating. Uh, DaVinci Resolve on the Mac is running their new beta version, so 17.1, so that it is running a compatible Apple Silicon version. And this is running version 17, which is the newest one that's out for Windows. So we're gonna come here, uh, and you can see DaVinci here on the desktop. It's down here, ready? I don't think I hit it right, nope. Unfair, we'll see. Still, I think it's gonna be close. That's a hard one to judge, you guys get it. But this is booting up. This one still came in first, but it's close. This one's not far behind it, so, you know, it's okay, This the Mac one, faster, for sure. Um, Let's go here, we've got a new project, new project. Let's do a new project. Okay, we're gonna call, just call this test M1. And new project over here. Test Lenovo. All right, so create, create. You guys see it here, boom. Again, pretty much instantaneous. Um, and now we're gonna import some footage, nice and simply come in here. I'm not very used to DaVinci, but it's the only one that I know that I can get that I can test them equally on both machines. So this is on my desktop for DaVinci, not really spelled right, but you get you get what I'm going for. Okie dokie, change frame rate. Uh, should we change frame rate to match? Sure, why not? There all should be 24, I believe. This one here, same idea, import media. Desktop for DaVinci. Open. Voila, very good. Same idea, we're gonna take all this now. If I can figure out how, what I'm doing here. This one thing, maybe it's just me. I'm not, I find the trackpad on here. It's good, but it's not fantastic. Okay, this one here, it's just so smooth. Very nice. Okay, so we've got this all here. I'm gonna turn this inspector off. Uh, bigger screen is actually a little nice here. Colors are way more vibrant on, on the M1 because of that, that screen they have, the matte versus that semi-gloss. We're gonna to go to full screen here on both. All right, ready? Full screen, all right? And you can see this one, it's just, it's a little more crunchy. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know, you're, you're seeing a recording of a recording, right? Uh, space bar just to get it to play. See this one? Chugging a little bit. No chug, right? Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. <laughs> Me yelling. 
Once it catches up, it's okay. But this one definitely is a bit more of a stutter than this one does. But not bad. They're both playable. You can see them both there. Okay, yeah, both playable. Alright, Th that one I may even give a little bit to the hard drive. The hard drive in, or the solid state drive inside the actual MacBook is definitely faster. It's one of the fastest solid state drives I've seen. It's like incredibly fast. So, but both playable. Like, and you're not going to be playing it in full screen. That, that plays back. You can see here, right? There's that little bit of a stutter when it tries to start, right? Then it kind of catches up. So, playable, yes. Once it gets going, it's okay. Here, it's instant good, right? Instant good. So, bit of a concern, maybe. Something to watch for. Uh, what we're gonna do here too, because again, we don't want this video to be like 1900 hours long. We're gonna go to this one here on both of these. We're gonna bring up the inspector on both of these. It's like editing twice. Now the other thing, you guys may or may not even be able to hear this. The fan on the Lenovo is already starting to go. Like it's not crazy loud, but it's going. The fan's not, and it won't come on here. It may not come on here at all, ever. You know, um, but it's there. So we're gonna go to the stabilization. Okay, stabilization. All right, and I'm going to set my set my little clock here. You guys may or may not even be able to see it. I don't know. I'm gonna put it right there. Stabilize, it's the same, perspective, perspective, zoom, all the settings are the same. Yeah, ready? We're going to start, start, go, analyzing. Oh yeah, a little bit of a difference there. Look at that. 30, 40, 50. So, it's a, it's a 20 second clip. This one is done, 28 seconds. This one's only at 30%. And the fan is just, if, here I'll be quiet, ready? Yeah, the fan's just going on the Lenovo. Okay, we just hit 50 seconds and we're at 43. No, no fan on the MacBook at all. Not that there's no fan. Again, it's just that it's not not going. What was this? 20, 28 seconds, I think it was. All right, this is. And this is on iPhone footage. Now, my expectation would this might be optimized for iPhone footage just because of its internals and it knows. 122, so almost a minute longer. Now, that wouldn't be bad if this was nine and this was 10, but this is 28 seconds and this was a minute 22 seconds. So that's, that's a big difference. You know, that's, that's substantial. All right, let's go to some uh, Canon footage. So this is Canon footage here. Make sure we get the same one. So this is off the R6. All right, so here we go. Yeah, same footage, very good. There's our stabilize again. There's our stabilize, we got it all good. We're gonna go, ready? Click, click, and start. Yeah, it's just, so much faster. You guys are seeing it here, right? Now, I would say they're closer, possibly. Not, not that they're close by any means. Well, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. This one's just like, ready? Boom, 29 seconds. So almost identical, didn't matter if it was iPhone footage or if it was Canon R6 footage, this one, Still, still chugging along. We're just hitting 50% right now. 42 seconds, 50%. So doable, yes. Uh, way better, without question. So if you're so far, if you're like buying these for editing, especially 4K, if you're if you're doing it for 1080, I would say both are going to do it really good. Um, 
But, you know, that's, that's a significant difference. This one here still 80%. And we're gonna come in around the same time, I think, for that one. Didn't really matter what footage it was taken from. And coming up, a little slower actually. 9900, 128. That's a big difference. Now this is i5, again, i5 16 gigs of RAM versus M1 16 gigs. Now let's be honest, uh, the M1 with eight gigs of RAM would perform identically. The real big difference is when you're running a lot of stuff. This, not gonna be an issue either way. All right, so that's, that's a little surprising, to be honest with you. Um, Let's go down to just simply, and this is, you know what, if this is just basic stuff, right? So we've, we've all seen how much faster it is. Okay, let's go down to just our export. So here's our export. We're coming down here to our deliver. All looks good. But you can even see here, when I switched from, let's go back to cut, right? We got our cut. Let's see what happened again. Deliver. Okay, that's faster now. But this... Everything is like snap, snap, snap. This one sometimes has a bit of a pause. There's just that little tiny bit of pause in between. Let's just, again, let's just reset this. So we got our deliver, okay? So let's pretend we're gonna go to YouTube. We're gonna go in 2160. Same over here, YouTube. YouTube. So in high def, sorry, 4K. Very nice. We're not. This is all the same, 24, QuickTime, H.264, bus one, yep, 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 same as project, very good. Um, we're adding to render queue, yep. Yep. This one is going to, let's see where we're gonna put this. We're gonna put this on the desktop, okay? And we're gonna call it Lenovo. Doesn't really matter, Lenovo. And this one here, we're also putting on the desktop. Might as well put them all in the same spot. We're calling this M1. Yes, save, save, click, click. We are going to hit render and render. Already, start, go. So, we'll be able to tell here when these finish and this one is already finished clip one. On to clip two. Oh, it's so much faster. Like it's so much faster. It's not even, this is like if you, if you, this fits your budget and you want a Windows computer, it'll work, right? This one, there's a fan going again. Okay, we're on clip three. You can just see it chugging along. This one's still on the first clip. This one's on the second to last clip. Just going. This one's on the last clip. Still on the first clip. So this one here is pretty much, ready? So done. 58 seconds. Um, so it was pretty much one to one. So every, like a minute of footage took a minute to render out. This one just hit the second clip. Really, I didn't expect there to be that much of a difference, you know? Now there's a lot of things that could be the reason for this. You know, i5 versus M1. The M1 though, now this is 2.4 gigahertz, again, same amount of RAM. Hard drive is slower. The hard drive definitely is slower than on this one for sure. But, like it's, that's a significant difference. I, I'm curious to see what we end up here. One minute, we are, all right, we're getting into the 140. So we just passed the, we're on to the third clip now. Yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate, you know? It's doable, like I said. You know what, I bought this computer. Can I test it? Can it work? Yes. Uh, there's some perks, of course, with all the additional ports, for sure. That's really nice. But I'd have to say it. the screen is better, it's brighter, uh, it's it's higher resolution, uh, I believe. Um, it's faster, it's quieter, it doesn't heat up. This one, like you can feel it, it's, it's warm. This one, no. 
And you can get, I believe you can get this in an i7 that'll speed it up, but I don't think it'll speed it up, you know, five times the speed. And this is something that I've noticed a few things, right? I've I've done some previous testing on programs like Handbrake, for instance, for encoding. I get some file formats that I can't read on the Mac, so I have to use a program like Handbrake. But I've taken them and I've done a, a re-encode on both. And this thing just blows that one away. And with Handbrake, for instance, I believe it's actually running through emulation with Rosetta. So you're not even getting a, a, like the optimized performance and it's still just eats this machine. So that's something to be aware of, right? If you are used to the Mac system or you're like, I, I kind of want to delve into the Mac system, then I would say save your extra bit of pennies and get it. Uh, if you're like, no, I like Windows computers, then this will this will do it, right? It's, it's running, this is 4K. Is it gonna take a little longer? Sure. And maybe you're a person that, you know, they make a video and if it takes four or five times as long, you're like, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna, I'll do it when I sleep. For me though, I edit, you know, I shoot and I edit and I upload and I try to do all that all in the same day. So, uh, you know, every time that I can save is a, is a huge bonus. Are we finally getting close here? So we're at almost four, so we're gonna hit, we're gonna pass four minutes, I think. Yeah, we're gonna pass four minutes. Oh yeah, and resolution wise, just so you guys see, this one's playing back at 27% of its original file size. This one's playing back at 16%. So uh, this one is smoother and is not playing as high res. Okay, just finished 413 versus a minute. 413 versus a minute. Yeah, so you can see here, maybe you can see here, 16%, right, 27%. So this one, without question, is is the winner damn one winner not even not even close uh lenovo think book it does it it works if this is a machine you have or you want to have or you're like you know what it, outside of just absolute speed it's still a great machine I, I i bought this and i still like it it's well built everything works good it's got all the ports i i need the screen is 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 good enough I, you know i don't need anything better than this right it's nice but if you're you want the best for the money and these were the two machines that you were kind of pondering even if you're looking at let's say the macbook air the air is going to get this kind of performance as well very very close to this like really close all right guys i'm going to leave you there that was a quick test not really that quick quick it's sort of quickish quickish test of the lenovo thinkbook gen 2 uh, i5 versus the macbook pro uh, M1. Yeah. Winner. M1. By a, by a long shot, actually. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little bell. If you have any other little questions or would like some more tests, maybe between these two machines or on either of them, let me know and we'll see what we can do for you guys. Alright, my friends. I'm out. Later.